Hello everybody, we are back with Glen Velvet Reviews and uh, it's time for a water change. It's uh, time for a water change on the 40 gallon breeder. Everyone's going to be freaking out. They're going to run into their little rocks and hide, usually when I'm cleaning. So I'm going to scrub that. I'm going to clean my protein skimmer. As you can see, it's about a quarter full, but I'm going to clean that anyway. And um, yeah, so let's get this water change done. And uh, Let's get this set up. I'll show you my little setup that I got to run the water change. So we go over here. Sorry for the mess. So I got the water line coming down. See, as you can see, going into there. Let's hook this baby up. I go like this. Oops, sorry. Got to screw it into there. So screw this into here. Make it nice and tight. Okay, so screw that into there. We're gonna get this water change going, and then uh, we're gonna turn on that water. Well, we're first we're gonna put it into the tank first. See my little setup, and uh, it goes right into my sump pump, pumps right out over here through this pipe right here. I have a what's that inch and a half inch pipe? Yeah, one and a half inch pipe, I think. Um, that we got flowing out so yeah one and a half inch pipe which flows out pretty quickly especially when it's under pressure so it goes out pretty quick i never have a problem and uh that's it so that's my setup that i got to do a water change um maybe this will give you an idea for your own little setup to make it nice and easy so this way you'll do your water changes no matter how big your uh, fish tank is or saltwater reef tank or whatever you got that you got to do water changes no matter how big it is this will make it a lot easier um just to say okay so first we're going to go over to the tank Let's get everything ready. All right, now we got to turn everything off. So let's turn all, turn off all my stuff. So I just hit the switch and I turn off everything because um, it's going to be very quick that everything's going to be done. So I turn it off. So it's not like they're not going to survive for you know 20, 30 minutes of me just messing around in here and cleaning the tank out. So let's get this done, clean this tank out. All right, so I like to prime. I like to make sure that I prime it and get water inside it. It makes it a lot easier. So I go like this. I make sure I drain some water in there. Hopefully you could see that on the. Uh, hopefully you could see that on the video. So hopefully you saw that on the video, I prime it. So I get, uh, I put some uh, water in there and then let's turn this on. Then I go over to my pump. Go over to where my pump is over here. So sorry for the mess. I'm gonna deal with it. Let's turn this on. So this is where I got my, I got a half inch PEX coming in to a uh, half inch valve and it works out great. Three quarter inch hose. Um, nice and thick i got a dishwasher hose so it's nice and thick but it's not under pressure the only pressure is under here so everything is okay and i put some straps on it let's turn this on hear that puppy roar let's get back oh this is my setup as you can see so it's going under my bed so i have it going under my bed <clears throat> and then it comes out on this side of the bed and then I got it going up, around, and then that's it. I'm sucking everything right out. So let's suck all this. It's already sucking out, actually. Let me uh, control the water flow, so, uh, the water, so I can um, suck out the uh, the gravel. All right, so that's about it. That's uh, well, now we got to fill it up. Let's get the pump going and fill this pump puppy up. 
So I already made my salt water, it's in here. I made it the other day and I have it all heated up. That's why I, I do a little bit bigger water changes because I have my water already heated, as you could see. I have a heater in there. So mine's at, eight, mine's at about 78, 80 degrees, uh, which is great. And then I have that pump flowing. And I'm at 1.025, and that's what I aim for to put inside my tank. So I'm going to use my uh, CSA pump or whatever, how you pronounce it. Uh, I'm going to use that, and we're going to pump this water in with my little valve that I made. So let's pump this water in. I'm going to show you in a second. All right, so this is the this is my uh, the pump that I'm gonna put place in the obviously inside my reservoir to uh, suck it out, and then I made this, so I'm just gonna hook this on the side. I don't know if you could see that. Hopefully, yeah. I'm gonna take this. I'm just gonna hook it on the side, and it's gonna fill up my tank for me and make it real nice and easy. No carrying buckets, no nothing. It's gonna go right up in there and fill it up, and uh, we're gonna be good to go. So let's get that going. As you can see, it's flowing in at a slow rate. That's what I want. I don't want a drastic rate. You know what I mean? I want it to go as slow as possible. This was the slowest pump I can get, so that's what I got. So this way, uh, you know, you have a bigger tank, you could do it faster. Um, but that's what I'm doing on my tank, so you can see it a little bit slower. So we're going to fill that up. All right, so uh, so we're filled up. Let's turn it on. Let's get this thing going. Then I gotta clean out my uh, protein skimmer. I'm gonna do that next, or um, but whatever. Um, so let's get everything back on. That's how quick and simple. That's how quick and simple the uh, it is to do a water change when you have everything ready. So uh, hopefully that doesn't deter you from uh, starting up your own little aquarium or reef tank. So that's how simple it was. I did that really quick. And uh, that's it. So thank you, thank you everybody for watching Glenn Velvet Reviews. I am out. Have a good one. Enjoy. Please stay safe. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, tips or tricks, post them down below. I would love to know. And uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, also, uh, I'm always putting on reviews about other stuff and my adventures with uh, reefing and anything else that I got going on. All right? Thank you, everybody. Have a good one. Bye-bye.